Hi everyone, here is Zakaria Amir from Graphic ZA, and welcome to this very simple and nice tutorial in Photoshop. So what we're gonna create today is actually simple. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna create this glowing line curve, which is simulated to the paintbrush, as you see here, start from zero to the maximum pixel and go back to zero. So go to file, new file. I like always to use this size for the full HD so click OK. The resolution is 300. The color mode is RBG. So right now after we create this file, first we're gonna click twice on the this layer and we're gonna call it BG. I already have the styles for everything. This is the BG style and here's the text style, here's the line style. All these styles is gonna be uploaded to the internet. So go ahead and download it. So if we click just this style for the background, just I add to the, this background a gradient overlay. So, okay, after we create the background, we're gonna create the line. So go to pen tool, create the pen tool, the curve line. So, so after we create the background, I'm gonna go and use the pin. Just click P on your keyboard, okay? And here we're gonna create the curve line, okay? Something like this. And right now, after we create the path, we're gonna go to the brush tool. Click brush and choose your size for your brush. Before that, we're gonna create uh, a new layer called, we're gonna change the name, line, we're gonna call it line, okay. So if you want this size to your brush, just set up your size, okay. And okay, then go back to the pin tool and right click and choose stroke path. And from the tools, make sure you have the brush and simulate pressure and click OK. As you can see, there's no pre or simulate pressure pin. So what's the problem? Okay, the problem is if we just press F5, it's going to open the brush sit up. So go back to the brush tool. And if you can see here, the shape dynamics it's not a fit. So if we just click the box, here you can see the control is pin pressure. Then just go back again to your pin tool and stroke path, click OK. Right now we have the simulate to the print brush. So go to effect, size, sorry, and choose the side of the line. So here's the line. And then just tap your text. Wherever you want, I'm going to type graphicza.net and I'm going to duplicate this text and move it to here and I'm going to type right now Zakaria Amin and I'm going to add the effect of the text, the bevel inside. So as you can see here, the line I use out glower and inner glower and the gradient overlay and also the stains okay and in the text I use just drop shadow and enter shadow okay so this is the tutorial so just what I want to say before I end this tutorial this curved line you can use it also in something like this as you can see here what I did I use this curved line to create this line around the man leg okay so you can use that also so in a different ways so I hope guys you like this tutorial again here is Zakaria Amin from graphicza.net don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website and if you have any comments any question just post it down 
and I will make sure to answer your question. Again, here is Zakaria Amin from GraphicsDA.net. I will see you next time.